my microphone. All right, we're live. We're just going to let that roll a little bit. Cool. All right, you guys ready? Let me make sure I'm focused here. Hmm? Not yet. All right. All right. We live yet, Alex? Yes. Excellent, John. We're live? Thank you. <clears throat> well, well. So, Paul. You're welcome. Looking, you're welcome. looking uh, very lumberjacky today. I am. I am. This is uh, our mother's uh, Mike. Mike's presence. Mike. Uh, a nice uh, Bilson mess. I have one of those, but somehow it's, I, uh, not going up. I have an excess room on mine. I understand that. Well, it's very comfy. Perfect. Rainy day here in Millerton, New York. Perfect day for this. We'll talk a little bit about tea. King Arthur. Like, you know a lot about King Arthur? Yeah, round table. Mm. Why don't we have a round table? We should have had a round table. Yep. Yep. I used to, I, 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 was, uh, I read a lot of them. When I was Did you? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. See? Now you bring it up. Yeah. Well, why are we talking about Camelot? Camelot. Because uh, Lincoln Center, they got uh, they just cooked that thing off. And uh, have you been down there to see that, Mike? I got to go down before, while this preview's on. They got a free tickets for me and the missus there see, by there you the go. 14th. So that'll be uh, around the 10th or so. I'll go down there. That's that's the thing. Got to get the previews in. Yeah, no, that'll They're getting be ready to hit this. Lincoln City, Lincoln Center Theater. Yes. So New York, it. New York, Mike. You know, my brother Paul taught me something. He said, New York, New York, so nice. They named it twice. See, I didn't know that. That's when I was exactly growing up, right. I had a deprived childhood. Paul yeah. had a much better childhood. No, that's than how me. it is. That's how it is. It's fantastic. You can't beat it. No, no, no. Right? Oh, is, that, is that coming? The What? Oh, it's in front of me. No wonder I can't find it, Paul. That oh, Camelot. Camelot. That's a black tea. Emmerich, uh, my second son, sort of came up with the blend, although I helped him a wee bit. And um, so we did talk about it last time, Paul. You weren't here, so that's why it's news to you. Oh. But we didn't I have see. it really live. And just like today, we don't have something really live, but we're doing the announcement. Ah. So we're into announcements today a see, little bit. there you go. Okay. But well. people were really happy the last time. I think you were down in um, Florida? Florida. Florida. Oh, no, you were out in Anaheim. Could have been, could have been two what weeks What was ago. that? What was it? Anaheim was the uh... Natural Products Expo West. What's that about? That is uh, natural products out there in the world. All natural products. And where do they? All uh, natural, that's... just natural. All right. So what was that like? Tell us the people that have never been to a show like that. What do they see there? Uh, they see a lot of uh, products, a lot of natural products, a lot of healthy products. A lot of stuff they might find in the store, right? Healthy for you products, yes. In your local co-op, perhaps uh, things such as that. That's where you might find that. Uh, you find some keto type stuff. and You could find anything you want there. You could find, uh, yep, keto. Well, that's beyond good keto. What's beyond keto? I don't know. I found a nice yuzu, yuzu jam we're going to bring in. A yuzu marmalade direct from Japan. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh. Well, our, our, our uh, Korean guy went over to uh, Japan. He was just like the president there where they got together. They're trying to get together those two countries. So our importer there went over and saw our importer over in Japan. There you go. Patrick. So, Patrick's, Patrick. Patrick's on the game. Saw Sato, yeah. Well, that's great. Well, what's, you know, um, Paul, What's wrong with that? Nothing. So uh, what we have today is we have, we're doing Camelot, and we're going to give away some Camelot for uh, those people that do uh, do mention it. But we also have some other giveaways uh, later on, too. So hold your horses. It was very successful the last time, Paul. For some reason, people didn't mind free stuff. Uh, that's how it is. Yeah, no, free's good. Free's definitely good. We had some actually very nice uh, gifts that were from uh, our friend in, uh, in Japan, speaking of Japan, Suyoshi, 
who I don't know if you read the blog this month, Paul, but they do have uh, he he got the write up. Huh? Yes, he did. Yep, and I did. I did read the blog, and he did sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred. That's a little bit longer than me. But Camelot was before that, Mike. Are you sure? Eleven hundred. Yep. All right. Okay, I'm just going to chime in because I did some research on this yesterday for yeah. a hastily thrown together photo shoot. Um, it's actually 460 See? to 560 See? common era. See? That's when it came out? Well, not the play. Oh. But Arthur, like <laughs> the time of Arthur. Sid Arthur. All right. See? So that's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. See? I didn't know that. See? I forgot that part. It's hard to think of it. Yes. Well, it's a long way, long time ago. Yep. So Camelot, we're going to give away some Camelot. And then uh, we also have some uh, some other things. This is a uh, pour over. So you can put your tea in here and you can pour it over. That's one thing. John? And we have some very nice. Um, you put your tea in there and pour it over what, Mike? What do you pour it over? We Let's can see. pour it over this. How's that? Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. All now right. we're talking. All right. So this is separate. This is a very nice uh, glass. A teapot with a something or other in it, a, it. a strainer. That's a very nice item. And I think the price is right. Uh, the price is always right. On, and then this is a on round one, too. And that's going to be if you write an email to Michael at Harney Tees. Mike, you got to bring that last one back here. It didn't move fast enough? No, you moved too fast. There you go. Let's get you a get little... to decide which one you want. You don't get to decide that. I get to decide. Oh. Actually, you get to decide if you want to Romina the gets to decide. Oh, Romina decides. Romina decides. She's a very hard person to decide. That's it. That's it. So Michael at HarneyTees.com. Michael at HarneyTees.com. And uh, we're going to be doing that. The other thing that um, we have, Paul, is we have to say hi to Nina. Nina's a little under the weather. Nina. She's a little under the weather. Okay. Well, feel better, Nina. Please. We're thinking of you. Yep. Perhaps some tea, Nina. Yep. Um, with that. So, uh, Paul, the other thing that we got, two other things that we want to talk about, or a couple other things. Uh, well, this is some, our first tea of the season. You know, it's a B. Uh, the, there you go. Chun, and it's from uh, northern China. And it's, uh, it's a very nice, it's a light tea if you look at it, John, right? And you can see here it's got nice tips. And this, is, I've been there a couple times uh, with the uh, Elbita, and we've seen them make it. They put it in a wok, and then they push it, and they, they tease out the, uh, the white tips, Paul, That's which are the nice. buds. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. That sounds... And so this is in that uh, Taihu Lake, which is um, like the northernest most part of growing tea in, uh, in China. And this little peninsula that comes down, and they grow it underneath uh, like pear trees. So uh, they think that that's a little bit, people think that's where the flavor comes from, but uh, it obviously doesn't, but it sounds good, right? It's all about sizzle, not always about the steak. It's a lovely, sweet tea, first tea of the season. It's going to have a little fl well, stuff floating on it. I don't understand. When are we going to have the uh, Darjeeling? My Darjeeling's getting aced out by these guys. Well, it was, we were supposed to get some frost like tea. Like it's not, a, not, not tough enough. They're not, not tough enough for those guys up there. We were supposed to have some frost tea, but that uh, we had the, the German bureaucracy uh, had an issue. I slowed it down. Yes. Uh, now, your poor, uh, the place where you, you had gone to, Goom Tea, burned down, Paul. Yes, yes, I saw Tell that. us about that. You, you, when you told me about it, you said when you went to Goom Tea in Darjeeling, you had to walk. Walk how far? A while. That's what you got to do with Goom Tea. You got to walk. Like a long time. No wonder yeah, they couldn't get no, the fire to walk. There, the, huh? it's a, it was a windy path, if you will. How long did you walk for? For forever, forever. Well, you were like, marine, so that's a. It didn't seem that long, but it was. It was definitely a walk, and there's definitely uh, those structures. I would think are difficult for them to uh, get can't, to access. Can't get quite to it for, with, the, for with the, the fire, fire department. department. No. Alex, is there somebody that has a question? Well, just quickly, while you're still on, slightly on, still on below Chun, um, Suzette Carlin would like to know: if, Is that considered a white tea? No, it's considered a green tea, but it has white tips on it. So uh, obviously, it has a a uh, it's a very light green tea. Uh, it's put in a wok, so you do have a little bit of heat flavors to it. Um, so it's dried up in the wok. Well, I'll go roll back through some of the earlier questions. Uh, back to Camelot. 
Marianne says, great artwork on the tin. Tell us about the tea. Well, it's a black tea with uh, almond flavors. Honey, too, Mike. Don't forget honey. There's some little honey in there. And it's got then some of the spices that they might have found uh, back in the day. What are those, Mike? This, that, and the other. Nutmeg. Cardamom. Nutmeg. nutmeg. Yeah. Uh, then there's... Uh, Do we have any loose tea to show them? I guess not. Cinnamon. Don't, don't forget cinnamon, Paul. Cardamom, cinnamon. Honey. Nutmeg. Sounds like chai, but not. It does sound like chai, but it's not. It's not. It's not, not chai. Not chai. It's not it's shy. Camelot. It's not shy. You it's know, chai. the first time Camelot was mentioned, Al. Al knows this since we did his research. Al. Uh, that was about 10, 10, uh, 1,000. See? And that I was in a Williams, poem. Williams in something. a poem. Whose poem? On Lancelot. Knight of the Cart. Knight of the cart. Man, I'm a little rusty. That's it, Paul. Man, I'm a little rusty. I got yeah, I got a knight of the cart, Mike. You didn't. You didn't read that poem. I didn't do Middle English like you. <sighs> knight of the cart. Great poem. Mike. Who wrote it? Um, I believe he's a Frenchman. If I, I, I can't remember. They were all name, French but, back uh, there, back then. Right? Yes. For a while, the French took over that. But uh, knight of the cart. Alex, maybe you could give us a give us a little. Could you uh, look that up there, uh, John? Little, little, we got uh, a little linguist on that. Okay, little. so that was uh, that was by Chrétien de Troyes. See, Alex didn't even say it. Right? Come on, Alex, um, you got French. Uh, Chrétien. It's C H R E T I E N. Chrétien. Chrétien. Yeah. You gotta get the. Um, um, but he was as actually mentioned. By a Welsh historian in 8.30, around 8.30 CE. 8.30 this but morning. the guy was around 11.30. There you go. See? 8.30 this morning, the guy was mentioning it. Yep. All right. That's how it goes. Huh. Very recent. Well, the Bilo Chun, though, is a, is a lovely one. Uh, we'll be getting in some more green teas, uh, and then we'll get the frost tea any minute one of these days. We're done well, talking about Camelot? We're Come back to it. Okay. We're weaving our way right. through it. I got a couple of things left for Camelot. Don't okay. worry. All right. Were there more questions, Alex? Uh, there's always more questions. But let me well, there's not one. always more questions. I've seen certain days there's not more questions. Well, today there's a lot of, a lot of comments. Uh, Stephanie loves the tin. Uh, Erica loves the, the tin as well. Everyone loves the tin. The tin looks striking. It does look striking. That's the artwork that they have in the, uh, at the theater. It's very nice. Um, everyone's... So and let's hope out. it lasts. It gets out of previews and survives. Yeah, actually, I've been did some research on the original show, and that sounded like it was very interesting. Going getting that show up and running. Um, uh, but yeah, everyone seems to be excited about trying the Camelot. Excellent. Well, so we'll that's good. Buy we'll, those tins. Let's we'll, go. We'll let you Mike. continue on your your your. Okay, we'll move on. Weaving. So. Uh, when are we getting the one from Darjeeling? I know we're not even talking about that, but I'm trying to lead into coronation, Mike, for you. Your nation is my nation, Paul. There you go. That's good. That's well, good. you know, we're going from King Arthur to King Charles. That's it. Exactly right. King to king. We only deal with kings here. I got that right, right? King Charles III. You know who King Charles II was? What'd you say, huh? This time you got it right. I know. I, did, I, have, I have made a mistake more than once. But uh, King Charles II was the his family uh, was started to bring in the uh, tea into uh, into to, uh, England, um, and then he brought he married the uh, Catherine of Braganza, who we named uh, Queen Catherine's tea after, and she brought uh, tea to um, Portugal to, from Portugal to um, that's good. Do you remember Portugal? Paul? I'm here for you, buddy. But it is she was she was uh, she didn't bring it to Portugal. She's from Portugal to England, right? I thought she brought it back to Portugal. What'd she bring back to Portugal? The tea. No. But are you sure about that? Yeah, I'm very sure about that, Paul. You sure? I, I did the I, I did know. I did I the whole Queen it. Catherine thing. I know. I did it. I got it. Didn't they already have tea in England? No, no not no, much. No, it was her. Yeah, All right. she, See? She, she brought it over. So Queen Catherine. But now we're she back. She didn't to, bring any to Portugal though. They already had it. They already had it. The Brits were behind the times. Who would have known, Mike? Well, now they're not. They're up on top. So now the Brits are doing, uh, we're having uh, on May 6th, Paul. Yes. 
we got uh, Charles and, uh, and his uh, spouse are getting married, Camila. They named her after the tea plant. I just yep. quick, they're getting married? They're getting uh, more than married. <laughs> hey, hey, as a see. wife, he's probably she's already probably married as the wife. Yes. But um, they're going to do the um, coronation, Mike. Coronation on the sixth. And so they're doing the coronation on the sixth, and we're going to uh, we've done a, a beautiful tin, Paul. Yep. It's a beautiful tin, and it's going to be organic. And it's got a Darjeeling. beautiful tea. It's organic Darjeeling inside it. Yeah. No, it's got a beautiful tea. And so the uh, tin is uh, on its way here. It's uh, landed in Illinois, or as some people say, Illinois. Yep. And um, we're going to have it here in a couple of days. And then the tea is landing down in uh, Newark today, Paul. Well, that's a good place to land down there, right? And uh, they're going to go into the port, and then hopefully they'll come up here. And then we got to get it over for the core O Nation. Yes. So we're trying to make a boat to get it to England. So it is an honor. It's a great honor. That we are working with historic royal palaces, Paul. Yes, it is. That's our, our father got that rolling, and um, we're certainly grateful for it, and we're happy to help. Right. So we're hoping that uh, end of next week or early uh, the week after that we'll be able to offer this on our web uh, for people that um, would like to buy the coordination tea. Absolutely. So that's something that's uh, upcoming and it's coming right up. Well said. Well said, Mike. Uh, more questions, uh, Alex? Yeah, actually, we do have a couple ones that we should address. Um, Lisa would like to know how much... This is back in the Camelot days, if you will. Uh, how much the tins how are? How much it and is? Where can she get them? On the web. That is uh, thirteen dollars. One three thirteen. Thirteen dollars. What's the web, Mike? Harney.com. Just like you send a note to Michael at HarneyTees.com. Well, let's not confuse them because it's yeah. very, very different yes. addresses. Yes. I never, I never why understood why I didn't get a real, uh, yeah, but there you go. Why don't That's we have Harney.com? Why? Harney.com? That, that has something to do. That was we before the my domain. time. Whatever. That was even like before my time. No, no, no. We, we, Al Gore had invented the internet by then, and we had done this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the guy that was running that was not, it wasn't like a Gmail thing. It was like a, something else. It was before Gmail. That was before Google. Before Google, it was. So, it was. Lisa, you can find it on our website, www.harney.com. Uh, Denise, again, one of our loyal watchers here. Now, if you could just come up with a pistachio flavor tea or inspired. I had some nice pistachios on my cereal today, so I agree. I'm a big pistachio fan yeah. myself. Um, There's nothing wrong with pistachios. That's true. Who doesn't like them? Another longtime um, fan here. Uh, Bernie Levy would like to know, will the Camelot tea be available at the theater? Yes, it is. It's available. They had... I mean, they have to reorder it, but they, we sent down 100 tins the other day. So I don't know what they're doing with it. But um, Emmerich should know. If you could make sure we ask Emmerich, John. They're probably selling it, Mike. No? It's just like a T-shirt. Mm -hmm. There you go. Why not? Marianne is wondering, and you may have covered this, is the Coronation Tea flavored? It is not flavored. It's organic Darjeeling. But it's delicious. I'm having it right now. Yep. All right. And then we have another good question here. Coming locally. Taylor, I drink your organic Darjeeling all the time. How is the coronation tea different? Well, it's going to be a blend of uh, organic uh, Darjeeling's, uh, Taylor. And um, it's going to be um, several lots of it put together. So it's going to be a blend. We could not. We had to go on by uh, it. Of course, he only announced. They only announced it a couple of a month or two ago. So we um, we are taking from various estates in uh, the Darjeeling area. It's a good idea. It's good thinking, Mike. Well, that's what I thought. Yep. All right. Vita well, wasn't good. here. I had to think. She made me think. That's how it is. That's how it is. All right. Well, Darjeeling certainly appreciates it, and. Uh, I emptied the I emptied the the drawer at the uh, at the Darjeeling factory of yes uh, in over in Germany. There we go. That's good. Yeah. 
They, and need, they need it. it. They need it. They need it. Right? They're having some. They're struggling up there, and that's a, of course a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. All right. Another one. Have, quick question. What's the best type of non-dairy milk or creamer that you would recommend with Camelot? We have a lot of great opinions coming. Could from be anything. Could be pistachio. Anything. Could be um, We could go pistachio. Oh. The, the other girl likes the pistachio. Could be pistachio. Could be oat. Could be uh, whatever you want it to be. I would. I would think uh, pistachio is lovely. Uh, oat. Oat milk is uh, also fantastic. Oat has that sweetness that would yes. go really well with it. Yes. I think oat is probably the most neutral of, of the options to let the uh, beauty of the tea come through. All right. Mike, Mike loves alternative milks. I'm a, I'm a, a, I'm a cow guy. I'm a cow, a cow guy. guy. Yep. But uh, that's okay. Real question. I've never heard of this, but banana milk? There's, uh, there's new ones coming every day. <laughs> you know, speaking of bananas, I, I had this uh, person that's uh, – She's a, uh, Brigitte sort of follows her. She writes up in Vogue and New York Times. And so she likes this eating of scraps, things that we might throw out. So one of them was I had to make a, a, a dish with banana peels, there you go. which most people would say no, but we did it. See? Came out very delicious. It was pretty good. There you go. No, that's, that's like what that. that said. Zero waste cooking, Mike. Zero waste cooking is what it's called, Mike. So what did you uh, do? You do that at the diner? I have um, still in in process, it's a process, process, and it's we're not there yet. All right, you know, probably got a ways to go. All right, all right. Um, real quick, back to the bananas. LJ says, I think it would be delightful. Banana peels are full of magnesium. It was delightful. Yes, it was. They they keep them in strips. You do thin strips, and it was uh, it was a lovely recipe. Uh, but so the question I think that'll take up some time for us here is, Renee, what is the optimum temperature for the perfect cup of tea? Mm. Well, we have here uh, both a black tea and a, and a, and a green tea. So this you, uh, black tea, you're going to use boiling water. You want to make sure it's filtered so you don't get any chlorine flavor in it. And then you want to brew it for like uh, four to five minutes. So my wife likes four minutes. I like five minutes. Um, and then this green tea is going to be less heat, less time. Less heat, less time. So that would be, say, 175 degrees and three minutes. Paul. Yep. Works for me, Mike. All right. Well, you know, we are going to the World Tea Expo out in Las Vegas. And yes, so we are. Yes, we, could, we are. Uh, next week. Next week. Uh, end of tomorrow. I mean, Saturday. Saturday. You're leaving. You're getting there early, Mike. Well, I wanted to help uh, set up the booth. The show starts on Tuesday. It was a little confusing. Sounds confusing. It, uh, it was confusing. I agree. It was confusing, and I got confused. What do you look forward to doing when you're out there? Do you see are you going to see anyone special out there? Well, we're going to see Norwood Pratt. Yes, James Norwood Pratt. We're going to see Simon Bell of Amba uh, Estates. Yep. Uh, his the, podcast is coming out in the next few weeks. Oh yeah. Yep. And then we're going to see um, the guys from Sata uh, Satawa Satawa. From uh, Mawali, Mawali, that are celebrating a hundred years. There you go. They're going to be there. Um, we're going to be uh, celebrating our fortieth there, uh, Paul. We're going to have uh, our names. Your name is going to be on the bag. That's it. You're going to be your name too, Mike. I agree. That's it. I agree. I'm just telling you. Yes. So you, it's not a complete surprise. No, that's exactly right. You're going to see Manique. Uh, Manique's not coming. He's sick. We're not going to see Monique. I'm sure we're going to see somebody, though. Maybe if you're going to Las Vegas, we'll see you. There are a few tea shop people, tea-related people that are going to be there. Yeah. The more, the merrier, Mike. That's true, because right? it's just a small part of the nightclub show. Yes, we are just a small piece of sobriety. The beverage of sobriety. So we actually have a customer, Pat Johnson here, who would like you to mention the kettle. That warms the water at the correct temperature. It must have for tea drinkers, which I would agree with. I have one in my house. What one's that? The Cuisinart. Uh, what does he work for Cuisinart? I don't think he does. All right. Well, I mean, I have a Cuisinart in my house, so I mean, I agree. I don't know but what he used to Just saying, you should have... mention it because we're talking about the perfect Cuisinart. You can put it to the temperature you want it at. Yes. That's true. No, me. You don't Mike, have to think I about utilize it. 
the stovetop. Stovetop. Uh, and I looked down because you see Pratt was able to t tell you if you like see fish you eyes, know, fish eyes, eyes, you know, you're able to tell the temperatures. What kind of fish eyes were Just they? Look down and see. Huh? Crab eyes, sea all bass, sorts of stuff. sea bass. Yeah. Giant you got squid. Some, you got some yeah. problems at that point. Yes. You got some rolling. Uh -huh. You got some problems, man. You've got, you pushed past the delicate. Right. Well, so um, again, uh, we're, we're getting down towards the end. So if you have any questions, you do have to ask them now. Yes. And maybe we'll go over the giveaway again. I'm doing that as soon as you, uh, if you had any questions. I didn't. Uh, I don't have a question, but I guess it is a question. Uh, Bernie wants to bring a little sports into this again. You see UConn in the Elite Eight? Yes, indeed. Yep. That's pretty good, right? We'll take it. Paul, man, you live in New York now, though. I do, I do, I do. But that's it's been a long time since UConn has climbed in. So that's uh, that's something right there, Mike. What about uh, how did uh, how did your son do baseball wise down there? He did there? okay. He did okay. There are they just got back. Salisbury just got back here and uh, they're taking a couple more days off, Mike, before they head back to school. Get get out there on the field, but it might be little, a little while. Little little wet today. Might be a little while. A little wet, but they have turf there, so it's okay. They do. They do. Yeah. Turf? Artificial turf for the yeah. baseball. What's well, the big sport there? Well, little league, Mike. We already had our first practice. T. Teague already had her first practice, buddy. So, you know, it's coming. It Spring is coming. is coming before you know it. Yep. You'll be back in hockey before you think about before it. Before you know it. All right. Well, uh, if we don't have any more questions, we're going to uh, bid you fond farewell. Again, Michael at Harney Tees. We've got Camelot Coronation we're very excited about, and that'll be out in about uh, a week. And uh, Bilo Chun is first tee of the season. Uh, Alex, any other final comments? No, that's it. I mean, these are the giveaways. You got the three things there. Yeah. I think we're good. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye -bye. you very much. See you in a bit. See ya.